Since it's a really good environment for understanding how materials behave uh, in, in zero gravity and also how astronauts' bodies uh, change because if we ever want to go and explore the wider solar system, for example on a mission to Mars, we need that zero, that microgravity environment to understand the effect that it would have on astronauts over that sort of distance. So if you were travelling to Mars and back over two years, you need to know what it's going to do to the human body and the ISS is a good way of understanding that kind of thing. When you are in orbit around the Earth, you are really free of forces. The force of gravity is compensated by your motion, and that's what happens inside the spacecraft like the space station. So in those conditions, you have the opportunity to do experiments that are completely impossible otherwise. So you haven't seen a sort of Nobel Prize winning discovery coming off the back of this, at least not yet. Uh, but what you have seen is the construction of a permanent lab in Earth orbit, and that's valuable to a whole range of sciences, from you know medicine, the bi biology, through to sort of semiconductor physics and uh, building crystalline structures in space. All of those kind of things benefit from understanding them in an environment where there is no gra effectively no gravitational field to compromise the way in which they develop. Then we have experiences that uh, are being deal with uh, with health with developing uh, drugs, for example, that uh, chemical and biological reactions that take place in, uh, in the absence of gravity or in microgravity. And we can examine the way these reactions take place and perhaps synthesize new drugs and cures for cancer. Who knows? I mean, these this, uh, uh, spin-offs are completely unpredictable, but we know they will happen one way or another. To actually assemble a large platform in many, many missions with the Space Shuttle and Soyuz and so on, to bring all those parts up, that was a pretty impressive achievement. And I think it's probably, in engineering terms, that's really what its biggest achievement have been, to demonstrate that you can build something on a large scale and do that in space. This is an investment in long term and it's giving amazing results, amazing uh, already uh, outcomes and it's still years to go with uh, more experiments in this, uh, um, in this uh, amazing environment in space. You know, in the context of the kind of global financial crisis and the amount of money that went into bank bailouts and so on, it suddenly looks a bit less expensive. Um, and I think the other thing it's really done is encourage genuine international cooperation. I mean, it's, a, it's an incredibly international project. So many nations are involved, building components for it, sending astronauts up to live there. So in that sense, it's been a good prototype for anything more ambitious. If we go and explore the wider solar system, we'll return to the moon. And we do that on a large scale. The ISS has been a good way of understanding how that might work.